Good morning, children. This is Pata Sardis, sir, a physical science teacher of Kakatiya Public School. I am here to explain this topic is Unit 5 Sound of a Track. Within this chapter, today the topic what we are going to study is audible range of sound as well as inaudible range of sound. Simultaneously, sound pollution, how what is meant by sound pollution and what are the causes and effects as well as how we can control sound pollution. This total topic we are going to study within this particular class. First thing is about audible range of a sound. What is called as an audible range of a sound? If you go with the sound which can be heard by a normal human being, the sounds what else are producing? It can the intensity of sound can be get measured by a unit called as a decibel. Normal sound is 60 decibel. The sound which can be heard by a human normal human being will call that particular sound as audible sound. This audible sound has a range. Range of this particular audible sound is 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz or 20 kilo hertz. This is the range. Within this range, if a sound is produced, that sound can be heard by normal human being. Less than 20 years or greater than 20 kilohertz, if sound is produced, we will call that sound as inaudible sound, we can call it up, which cannot be heard by human beings. There will be of two types, first one is called infrasonics, second one is called as ultrasonics. What are called as infrasonics? Infrasonics are the sound, inaudible sound which can be, which has less than the frequency of audible sound. Means what? Less than 20,000 hertz. What are the sound when we get produced? That sound is called as infrasonic sounds. Similarly, these sounds will have a low frequency will be get existing for these sounds. Next one is what ultrasonic sounds. There are also nothing but more inaudible sounds only, whose frequency is greater than 20 kilohertz. Greater than 20 kilohertz, if the sound is produced, that sound is called as inaudible sounds. And we'll call them with one name, that name is called as ultrasonic sounds. Those sounds can be heard by dogs as well as dolphins. To hear dog to dog, the whistle, what is the what is the police department people, they will what they will do? They will take care about the dogs. They will use this particular dog squad to invest in any case, a crime case. Policeman, as he whistles the particular policeman, it will have greater frequency of about 20 kilohertz. So that easily the dog can hear that particular voice, whistle, and it will come to him. That particular point we can get of dolphins with 100 kilohertz. If the sound is produced, the sound produced by dolphins will be of 100 kilohertz. These two are the examples we can give for ultrasonic, the ultrasonic sounds. This is about audible range of a sound as well as inaudible range of a sound we can give it up. The next topic is what sound pollution. What is called as sound pollution? Any disturbance which is excessive in sound, which is producing in excess of sound. We are talking about sound chapter. If sound is excess or if a disturbance is more regarding the sound, we will call that particular one as nothing but what sound pollution we can call it up. This sound pollution is nothing but 
third word is a loud sound which is non harmonious nature non harmonious vibrations that are unpleasant that are unpleasant to ear the sounds which are unpleasant to ear and have non harmonious vibrations that one is called as noise pollution or sound pollution we can call it and you know we have already studied that intensity of sound is measured by what a decibel if it is 20 decibel we we'll call it as nothing but what if the sound sound is producing with 20 decibel no harmful to our ears according to who world health organization they have given one particular certification that intensity of sound if it is less than 70 decibel less than 70 decibel which is audible sound for human normal human to hear if it is exposed to more than 8 hours of 85 decibel sound if our ears are exposed to exposed more than 8 hours constantly for beyond 85 decibel of the sound which may cause hazardous is a thing but what it may cause damage to our ears our ears may lose hearing visibility can be happen to that particular a person has others it is nothing but what any problem a problem can be affected for a person due to sound pollution how this particular sound pollution causes what are the main things which causes sound pollution first one is what industrialization as a town cities where the industrialization process gradually increases in industry what happens so many machineries will be get working as machines are working what happens they produce a lot of sound a numerous amount of sound can be get produced which cannot be which which is which is called as nothing but what sound pollution as the growth of industrialization increases in towns as well as in cities sound pollution will be gradually increases second one is more in proper planning of urban areas if there is no proper planning of urban areas then also this particular what happened there itself sound pollution can be get happen proper planning of urbanization planning of urbanization urban areas has to be done in a proper way systematic manner if not so what happen there itself it also causes what a uh, uh, sound pollution social events actually is if social events are not properly organized what happen there itself there is a possibility of producing sound sound pollution if meetings especially during election time we will see that different people different leaders will conduct different types of what we can call it itself meetings there itself to expose to expose themselves what they have done in five years of a five years of, of their work there itself they want to they would they use a lot of speakers there itself within the era areas and due to that particular reason what happened there itself proper problem can be happen due to marriages happening continuously within a month near by near by places if two or three marriages are happening in function halls which also creates nothing but what sound pollution that must if we go it up sound pollution will be get happen social events if they are not organized properly the social events then also which causes sound pollution also next one is what vehicles as well as transportation vehicles if you are going to cities a number of vehicles will be get existing if we go into the traffic into the mid area we can see so many number of vehicles blowing the horns and transportation of the particular goods from one place to another place which also creates nothing but what sound pollution we can give it up next one is our construction sites 
where the construction is much more happened, where the growth happens cities, if the in city is what happened, then the construction lay, construction places will be more there itself, a lot number of people will be get working, machines also will be get working, construction of bridges, construction of uh, uh, houses, construction of any industries, etc. So on. Wherever the construction is happening, bridges, dams, as well as any apartment construction, etc. So on. If you go for all those things in those areas, a lot of tumorous sound will be get produced. This all could be some causes for producing sound there itself. Due to this particular causes, there will be affecting upon the people there. What would be the effects of sound? Sound pollution. First one is what? They create hypertension, increasing in blood pressure. For a person has a easy ring continuously sound. Blood pressure can be to increase up. Due to that reason, hypertension can be attained for a person. Second one is what? As you are asking for high levels, sounds can be. If you are listening beyond 85 decibel of sound, what happened there? It caused assertness. Means what happened there? Hearing disability can be happened. Our ears loses the uh, if we lose if we may disability may happen to our ears if it is more than 85 decibels of sound if we are hearing continuously for eight hours. Hearing disability may happen. That is second one. Third one is what due to excess of sound in your hearing. If marriage functions are there, even if they, what they will do, they will take a, 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 what is Zulu, they, they will take Zulu there itself. As they are doing, a lot of speakers will be used a lot. A lot of sound will be get exposed. Due to that reason, if you want to sleep also, we cannot sleep. Why? The sound that it is having greater than beyond 85 decibel of sound will be there, which doesn't make us to sleep. To that reason, sleeping disease may also be happening to us. That is also one more effect we can give it up. Fourth one, but is nothing but what? Cardiovascular issues may also happen. Cardiovascular diseases can be developed due to hearing of a sound a lot, sound, of sound pollution. If you are hearing continuously, that effect may also be get happen. This is about sound pollution causes as well as effect. Well, dear children, just now we have completed effects of sound pollution. What are those effects we have seen? Hypertension happening to us, hearing disability, sleeping disorder, as well as cardiovascular issues or diseases occurring to us can be taken place due to effects of sound pollution. Next topic is what? How to prevent this particular sound pollution? I have written we have taken certain five, five different preventions we can do it up to avoid sound pollutions. Especially, first point is what? Honking in public places like teaching institutes as well as hospitals etc. What is meant by honking in public places? Making a hell of noise. Blowing on as we are moving from the from the institute teaching institution, as we had a vehicle, we we as well as our friends are continuously if we are blowing horn, what happens there itself? A teacher cannot teach properly, students cannot capture the concept properly, cannot understand the concept due to a lot of hell of noise noise pollution happened. Therefore, honking in public places like teaching areas as well as hospitals. What I would hospital why? Health disorder people will be there. High tension people will be there. Cardiovascular problems will be people will be there. Therefore, if they if there we are creating a lot of nuisance by honking in public places, it may cause problem to that particular person there. Therefore, honking in public places have to be get banned. We have to ban that particular one. That is first point we can give it up. Second point is nothing but what in commercial areas like hospitals as well as uh, industrial buildings where they are exhibiting there what we have to do we have to add advocate and uh, advocate sound proofs should be in 
star so that what happens there it says hotter the sound is producing outside cannot be heard inside therefore what happened sound probes uh, aggregate sound probes should be installed in hospitals as well as uh, building construction areas the industrial building construction so it is happening there if we are doing this one to some extent we can prevent uh, sound pollution next one is what third point is what musical instrument should be controlled there must be with what control and desirable limits means what limits the sound decibel should not be exceed more than 70 decibel it, it must be in a control as well as desirable limits must be there within that limits if we are utilizing musical instrument to some extent we can control prevention of sound there Fourth one is what dense trees. Dense trees is what a lot of tree plantation. Our nowadays our CM K C R Garu Harithaharam project he had launched. He launched there itself. We had to plant a lot of number of trees. So that what happened? Rains rains will pour. Rains will occur continuously, simultaneously. What happened? They can also reduce sound pollution. They can also reduce. Sound pollution. This particular point also we can do it up to avoid sound pollution there. Next one is what explosive should not be used in in forest, mountains, as well as in mining areas. If you are avoiding utilization of explosives in forest, as well as in mining areas, as well as in mountains. Maximum we can prevent uh, sound pollution. Therefore, these are the five instructions, uh, preventions we can do to, to, to avoid sound pollutions. By this, uh, we have completed this chapter, children. So try to revise this particular total chapter, watch number of times, and uh, try to gain knowledge. Thank you.